start with the next phase for Donald Trump. Now that he is the president-elect, the process of building an administration begins. The question tonight, are some high-profile Texans on his radar? Texans, as you know, have a long history of making a big impact in politics. And with a lot of high-profile movers and shakers here in the Lone Star State, there are already musings about who President-elect Trump could take to Washington. The Texas Tribune brought up eight names a lot of Texans will recognize, and here are a few of those faces. Former Governor Rick Perry, current Lieutenant Governor and Houston native Dan Patrick, and local Congressman Michael McCall. Channel 2's Sion Rhodes is live in Midtown, and Sion, we understand that you spoke to one of those Texans about this. And as you mentioned, Trump's transition planning is underway, and a high-profile Texas politician is now helping him craft his new administration. He loves Texas, and uh, so I think we'll be, uh, we'll be at the table. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick chaired Trump's campaign in Texas and says he's already sending the future president ideas about Texas Republicans who could serve him at the White House, like former Governor Rick Perry. Boy, he would be great helping veterans, for example, but wherever they would want him. Austin Congressman Michael McCall is also on the list. I think Michael McCall, Congressman, who's the chair of Homeland Security, would be a great Homeland Security director, maybe even an attorney general. Trump already named Texas Supreme Court Justice Don Willett as a possible nominee for the U.S. Supreme Court. But one name Patrick isn't submitting his own. But I said uh, to them from the beginning, I have no interest in going to Washington. And that doesn't mean like I'm going to change my mind. Uh, you know, if, the, if, if they were to, to ask me to do something, it's always very hard to turn down a request from the president or, or his team, but I would respectfully do so. The Republican Party in Texas is simply too important to the national stage for uh, there not to be good re Republican representation in a Trump cabinet. Mark Jones of the Baker Institute at Rice University says it's a political power play Trump needs to make. When you look at the Republican caucus in the U.S. House, the uh, Texans far and away represent the largest bloc, and that's the group that Donald Trump's going to need on his side. And Patrick says he is also preparing a list for Donald Trump of Texas Republicans from the private sector who he says could advise Trump on energy and economic issues. Reporting live, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News.